There's endless opportunities for, for autonomous vehicles in a vineyard. Probably more work with less people. Probably in the broader uh, acre vineyards, so some of those larger scale where we can get the economy of scale, um, multiple units, individuals running multiple units is probably where we see it. I think there's a huge opportunity to come together as a sector and identify what are those key universal challenges that we face in getting automatic vehicles on farm. The early adoption that we've done at Duxton is really we had to do something because we had a staff constraint. But I think there's a lot of opportunities for reducing I guess mental health stresses on people working and reducing sort of menial and demeaning tasks for employees so then they do want to come to work and they want to do a really good job and they're able to do that because their fatigue's a lot lower. So I love the idea of having a machine that handpicks grapes and um, handpicks vines because at the moment it's a, it's a massive cost. We all talk about staff shortages and finding, attracting people to the industry in areas that uh, we're finding it more difficult to attract uh, the right staff that we need. The future for us is using the technologies available for those manual tasks that we do inside the vineyard and prioritise. So pest and disease identification, yield assessments, um, disbudding and defoliation. Also identify um, you know, a range of other high value specialty crops that lend themselves to this type of technology solution um, so that we can really demonstrate a viable market in Australia. Our location and the topography, it's a bit hard to bring that new technology in when a lot of it's learning from like the flat areas in uh, like New Zealand and South Australia as well. From my career perspective, I think we're rapidly overcoming all the barriers. You know, the technology as we've seen today, it's, it's live, it's operating. So I think fundamentally it's probably capital for most of us. We're, you know, we're really, you know, we're in a difficult operating environment from an industry perspective. So I think the availability of capital, we're all sort of using our tractors a bit longer and, and uh, working them a bit harder as we sort of try to manage through this difficult operating commercial environment. Like I think capital is probably number one. Um, the affordability of, of purchasing and, and then operating one. Um, your return on your investment is obviously over time. What are the work health and safety considerations, regulatory considerations, um, connectivity infrastructure that's required, uh, what type of cap access to capital a producer is going to need to bring um, this tech on farm. Cost is probably a, a, a big thing. I think we need to think about um, scale and how do we make sure that there's access to this type of technology for a range of um, different enterprise sizes. And I think as well, making sure that the technology is actually addressing um, problems for the producers themselves and for the growers and making sure that um, we're bringing something, um, I guess, to market that is gonna solve real world problems and help them improve their um, product um, productivity efficiency. This workshop has been excellent. It's been great to connect with other um, key stakeholders in this space, um, hear from industry and hear how this type of solution could really solve some of the problems that they're facing. Oh, I think showcasing a, a unit in real time is, is, is perfect. Like it gives us all a snapshot of you know, what the future is going to be. It's meeting other people that are you know, looking at this technology and, and, and sort of workshopping ideas and, and actually to see the to see an autonomous tractor up close, uh, that was a big eye opener for me. Um, it's been great to see that there is such an appetite um, for this type, you know, for autonomous um, vehicles on farm and really just, I guess, seeing that collective um, enthusiasm to come together and really try and um, really try and solve some of these issues. Like always, most workshops are about the people that you're there with, you know, some super smart people uh, wandering around, having a chat and the opportunity to sort of sit and, and dissect, you know, you know, each element of our own business, challenge each other and, and really listen to, to some great ideas here today. So the workshop for me is really the network and, and, and discussing with like-minded people of where we are as an industry and where we should go and trying to trust in technology to go where we actually still practice what our forefathers have taught us. So it's, it's been really valuable. Something that I thought was going to be 20 years down the track for me, that might not be so far away after seeing what, what, what's happening here today. So no, that's been a really, really valuable experience for me. Really appreciate it.